Hi everyone, my name is Tom Zobel and I am an RMM admin here at Proval Tech and today we are going to be talking about auditing in ConnectWise Automate. This is a surprisingly lesser known and often underutilized feature of the application that is very useful for pinpointing when a specific action occurred in the control center and who performed that action. So by nature of Automate, most companies that use this have multiple admins in here that are making lots of changes throughout the day. So when one change gets made that causes an issue, it's pretty easy for that to get lost in the shuffle. And then you have to start to work backwards and figure out how it happened, why it happened, and either educate the user or change the way the system works to prevent that change from occurring in the future. And in either one of those cases, the audit log is going to be the thing that helps you the most in that uh, instance there. So to find the audit log, you're gonna go to system, configuration, and then dashboard. Once the dashboard loads, you're looking for management and then auditing. And now the way that this UI works for the audit log is that you have your results on the center of the screen and the things that you're seeing are dictated by the filters that you have selected in the surrounding sections here. So you can filter it by the auditing action. Optionally, you can have it filter it by all actions at the very top of the list if you want everything. Filter it down by the users. Optionally, select all users at the top of the list if you want to see everything performed by every one. And then you can also set a date range. And then also optionally at the bottom here, you can limit the results to just the last 500 if you want it to perform a little bit better. But if you want to see everything, just uncheck this box and hit refresh. So if you know something happened and you kind of know when it happened, but you don't know who did it, the easiest way to find that is going to be filtering it down by the auditing action here, keeping all users selected here, and then under the date range filter, select the ballpark date range that you have, and that's going to throw away a lot of the noise that you don't need, so then you can find the specific item that was changed here, and that's going to pinpoint it to which user actually performed that action, so you can follow up with them or make the change to the system that's going to prevent that change from happening in the future. One important thing that I want to note here is the specific auditing action. So some of these are a little bit generic and don't paint the full picture of what type of actions are actually being captured in that category. So I'm going to link an article in the description of this video for ConnectWise Automate's auditing documentation that gives a breakdown of each item in this list as far as the full picture of what it's actually capturing. And this is a good one to have bookmarked for situations where you need to work backwards and figure out what happened, but you don't know which of these actions you actually need to filter it by. So that's gonna get you the results you need. It's also important to make sure that you are actually auditing for all of these things to happen in the first place so that you have the information available when you need it. So it's important to understand how the auditing system actually works. Essentially, each of these auditing actions has a level assigned to it from zero to five. In general, the lower the number, the more severe of an action it was. But the audit, what the audit captures is actually determined at the user level. So to illustrate this, if we go back here to the main page, system, users and contacts, and then select users. If you double click on any given user, for example, I've got myself selected here, when you go to the permissions tab, each user has a specific auditing level and Proval recommends for any user that logs into the system period, you have audit level everything selected for that user. That is going to make sure that every single action is captured. This doesn't have a big performance hit on the automate instance and this doesn't take up a bunch of database space. It purely makes sure that you have all the information available should you ever need to go looking for it. So make sure that all of your users that are actually logging into the system have auditing level everything selected. That way when you need to go working backwards and figuring out what happened, all of the entries for every action they take is going to show up in this list and you'll have that information available should you need it. Thanks for watching. We post new videos weekly to share our knowledge about Automate. To learn more, please visit provaltech.com. There's a link in the video description below.